Hello everybody, I'm Mike the Engineer and today we're going to talk about Mount Rainier and how certain science denying globe deniers seem to think that perspective somehow explains shadows cast on the underside of clouds with a light source above the clouds. I don't know, you tell me. This is a short, going to be a short clip I'm going to show you from uh, one of Jaren's videos. He's going to show you also something from uh, P-Brain's video and how it definitively proves, well, actually it proves nothing. Here's the clip. Let's get started. Watch this clip. First, I explained how one of the globe propaganda's favorite arguments regarding Mount Rainier, upward shadows, was provably false. A big thanks again to P-Brain for first presenting this argument. The globe claim is that when the sun allegedly sets at an angle lower than the base of Mount Rainier, like in this diagram, the mountain allegedly casts an upward shadow onto the underside of the clouds above Mount Rainier. Despite the initial appearance, these photos do not show an upward shadow caused by a sun which is angled lower than the horizon. These mountain shadows are simply downward shadows, as proven from time-lapse footage and photographs from mountain summits. First, let's back up a couple of frames in Jaren's video. You can see, here's the peak, here's the shadow. Look at that. Interesting. Let's look at another picture. So what do we have here? We have, on the left, a photo from the summit of a mountain showing that the light source is above the summit of the mountain casting a shadow downward and as you can see the peak is going away from you so what would that look like from the ground well obviously it would be look like the image on the right and I say obviously because this is something you can test yourself because I took that picture myself I used a cardboard cutout of a mountain. I used the white diffusion filter from an LED light. You can use a, anything else if you want, as long as it's opaque enough to show you the shadow. And I put the light source above the mountain peak. You could see in both these images that the peak of the mountain itself is moving away from the mountain. And the widest part of the shadow is at the mountain itself. So what happens if it's the other way around? What happens if the clouds are above the mountain peak and the light source is below the mountain peak? Well, what you get is this image. In the left, the clouds are above the peak, light source is below the peak. The shadow of the peak is closest to the mountain, not the widest area, and on the right is the image I took, the simulated clouds using the uh, white diffusion filter from my LED light uh, panels. Light source is below the peak, so it casts a shadow upward onto my simulated clouds. The peak of the shadow is closest to the peak of the mountain and then spreads. And you can do this yourself. This proves that the flat earth explanation of it is just perspective causing you to believe the shadow is from a below, a light source below versus a light source above is ludicrous because the shadows are in opposite directions that you can't explain away from some by perspective. Perspective does not cover this. Nice try, but no fucking cigar. So where does that leave us? Well, if you believe P-Brain and Jaren, the image on the right is what's really happening and perspective makes us believe the image on the left is uh, a shadow cast on the underside of clouds. The fact that the two shadows are going in opposite directions, I guess, never really even occurred to them. <laughs> it kind of amazes me the complete and total lack of critical thinking skills that went into 
both of these videos when it was something that they could clearly test themselves. I showed you how I tested it. You know, a cardboard cut out of a mountain peak and a light source and something to cast a shadow on. You can clearly see the image on the left can only come from a light source below the mountain, the clouds above the mountain, because the peak shadow of the peak is closest to the mountain, whereas the one on the right clearly has the peak coming away from the mountain. So what we have here is a clear demonstration that the image on the left cannot be the image on the right, but due to perspective, electroflare perspectivism does not explain this. So their claim is debunked. Lack of critical thinking skills of science denying globe deniers is demonstrated. Thank you very much. I'm Mike the Engineer. Talk to you guys next time.